What's good, YouTube returning life gang fans? What you're looking at are the reviews for the movie Venom. And man, some of them are extremely ugly. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Y'all know I hate to do that. Some of these reviews are accurate. And we're going to discuss that in this video without giving y'all the whole cookie. We're going to give you a little bit of crumbs. And not give you any spoilers in case you decide you want to go see this monster named Venom. If you're finding me for the first time, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell so you're down every time we drop these Life Gains videos. Also, check my description box. That's where I leave other Life Gains goodies, affiliates, and sponsors we do business with that can give you Life Gains ultimately. And also connect with me on my social media links as you see them scrolling across the screen now. Let's go ahead and dive on into the spoiler-free Venom movie review. What's good, YouTube? You're back in the building with your old Uncle Mont, bringing you your life gains and movie reviews should you go out there and spend your hard-earned money on Venom. This is Sony's rendition of the Marvel MCU, the Marvel character, excuse me, Venom. And we're gonna talk about if it holds up to what the Marvel Cinematic Universe would do. But first, y'all know when we do these reviews, I have to put on my plus seven glasses of cinema sexy as hell, work on skilling up my craft, bringing you a better YouTube experience, something better to look at. Sponsors are the ones you see scrolling across the screen. HD IPTV offering you everything you see for $14 a month. They're doing trials risk free. Also, do you think that the pen is mightier than the sword? Well, I've got a sponsor that's giving away a free pen that does everything. It's got a surgical knife, it's got a laser, it's got a light. I think this pen might be mightier than the sword. Check them out, video description. Does this movie hold up and is better than the Venom we've seen from the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man? And the answer to that is yes, but let's break this story down. Tom Hardy plays Venom and man, he does a good job. Did anybody think that Tom Hardy wouldn't do a good job in his role as Venom? The cast is good in this movie as well, and you can tell that the cast played this movie in a manner where they thought it would be a rated R or PG type of movie. And you can also tell Tom Hardy thought that that was gonna be the vibe for the movie as well. Those are the good parts. Let's go ahead and dive onto what the issues are. Oh, in the beginning, before Tom Hardy becomes Venom fully, he's going through the transition when he gets sick and then he starts feeling bad and he realizes there's something else in his body. That part, is a little silly. It's like they tried to interject comedy and didn't know that they was doing it. So that part can get a little silly with this movie because it doesn't match the tone of the movie when he's first trying to discover what's going on with his body. Um, there are two other parts of this movie that I think are just outs that are good. They're not bad parts. So the post credit scenes of this movie, if you are a comic book fan, there's two post credit scenes and they are both lead ups to what's gonna happen in the rest of this connected universe because Sony is trying to take this Venom franchise and make it a connected universe, kind of the way Marvel MCU has done their universe. They've got a bunch of characters that the MCU can't use and they're trying to connect and make it a shared universe. So if you're into comics, you'll fully understand what's happening at the end with the post credit scenes and you'll probably like it. But if you're not a, if you're a novelist to comic book movies, you're probably not gonna get it. So, but just to let you guys know about that, does this script hold up to be something that can be connected in the universe? Hell to the no. The script of this movie was not great. I think this is probably the lowest point of the movie. They're gonna have to work on making this a better script. Now, the special effects of the movie, they'll hold up. You ain't gonna be disappointed with the special effects. Special effects was cool. 
Um, the villain in the movie, he was okay. You're not gonna be wild by the villain in the movie. But I think considering that they are trying to build a connected universe, they just kinda had to do what they had to do with this villain. I think that some people are gonna argue that the movie feels rushed based on the weak script. Now when you go in there and you see this and you sit down if you decide to go, the first thing you're gonna see is that the script is weak. You probably like the character development between Venom and Eddie Brock transitioning into Venom himself. Cause the Venom on this looks great. Um, you'll probably like the fact that there is a foundation to do a connected universe. But if you go in there expecting the traditional feeling you get from a Marvel MCU movie, you're gonna be sadly disappointed because there are times when this movie feels a little weird. So you might see people making memes about the movie being weird, it feels weird, it feels a little different. It's not what you're going to expect. It's not what you're gonna get from a Marvel MCU universe. Overall, I'm gonna give the movie 6.5 and that is if you are a comic nut. If you are a general person, a novelist, you don't do comics, I'm probably gonna say it's probably a six for you. You could wait, but comic book fans, you know we're going to see it. I, I was curious. It beats the Tobey Maguire Venom, like I said. The graphics and the special effects and the CGI, they're decent. They're not bad, they're decent. But the script is weak. Um, the villain is not, the villain and the boss fights are not gonna be probably what you're used to in the Marvel MCU universe. I would say that the movie feels like it should have been done 10 years ago and it would have been hot. But having said that, Sony is trying to build their connected universe. They're trying to do a Morbius movie. They probably gonna bring Spider-Man back into this thing. I would love to see Sony just team up with the Marvel Cinematic Universe to make this universe. And it would probably make things a whole lot better. So that's my spoiler free review of this whole entire movie. I would say if you can wait, you can definitely wait. If you're a comic book fan, I know you're not gonna wait, but everybody else, you can wait on this movie. It was okay, but it's not gonna wow you. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life gain. Your life gain on this video, save your money, you can wait. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.